Anyone else for State House Representative District 2? Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please give your attention to Mr. Jeremy Basso. Thank you, thank you. Can everybody hear me? Okay. All right, great. My name is Jeremy Basso. I'm a uh, Pensacola native. I've lived here my whole life. I'm running for District 2. I know we have some folks here from District 3, uh, but my district will cover part of Santa Rosa as well, so I figured I wanted to come out and meet you guys. Uh, I have a master's, uh, just a little bit about myself to open up. I have a master's in public health and a degree in biochemistry from the University of West Florida. Uh, I'm the technical director at the Wetlands Research Laboratory at the University of West Florida. Before that, I worked for about five years in uh, different private sector laboratories and companies. I've been married for 10 years to my beautiful wife, Trish. We have, we've had four kids. Two went to be with the Lord due to miscarriage, but I have a nine-year-old daughter and a a one and a half year old son that they keep me pretty busy. Uh, we're pretty active in our church. I've been on the front lines of the pro-life uh, movement for the last decade and a half. I'm the vice chair of the local uh, citywide pro-life committee. Uh, I've uh, participated in 40 Days for Life. Uh, I've also, I also was the founding uh, faculty, I was the original faculty advisor for the UWF Students for Life. Uh, I'm a member of the Coast Guard Auxiliary since 2007. We're active in the Holy Families Homeschool Group. We just started homeschooling this past year. Uh, we're active in the American Heritage Girls, which is a Christian scouting organization. And uh, you, you can read more about me on my website for liberty2012.com. But as far as the campaign goes, the main three uh, themes or goals of my campaign are liberty, the economy, and adherence to the Constitution. I'll vigorously defend liberty and due process, and I'll demand a constitutionally limited government within the enumerated powers. And if the folks we send to D.C. won't stay within those enumerated powers, then I think at the state level we need to do what we can to hold them accountable. Thank you. We still have the Tenth Amendment, and uh, I do intend to use that. Also, I'll support pro-life legislation, have no doubt about it. I'll support school choice, strong supporter of the Second Amendment. I'll promote a true free market economy, not corporatism and specialist, uh, special interests and handouts. Uh, let's see what we can do to reduce corporate income taxes, tangible property taxes, unemployment insurance rates that keep going up. That's what I hear all the time from small business owners. These things are just killing them. Uh, let's see what we can do to help these small businesses compete with the big businesses. Uh, I also believe that business should be handled at the lowest level possible, whether that's a state or local level. I want to work to help individuals and businesses keep more of the money that they earn. I want to protect interstate commerce from unconstitutional federal regulation under the false premise of interstate commerce. I want to assert, I want to assert state sovereignty from unconstitutional federal interference, and I want to protect the state of Florida from international influence from groups like the UN, the World Trade Organization, the World Health Organization, and any, and any other mandates and great ideas that the world government and other organizations have for us. This is still Florida, and we're still a part of the United States. I like a lot of what I'm seeing from the Campaign for Liberty, the Florida Tenth Amendment Center. I like a lot of what I'm seeing from groups like Americans for Prosperity. Um, and, and really, I think uh, it's time. It's time. I encourage you to go to my website, forliberty2012.com. If you're not in my district, that's fine. Uh, email my website to some friends. Uh, let's get my name out there. I also recently added a section on there called Q&A. And uh, that's questions and answers for different questionnaires that I've had the opportunity to fill out. So if there's any questions that maybe I haven't been able to address tonight, feel free to go there and check that out and see uh, if maybe I didn't answer it there. Or just send me an email or give me a call. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, sir. Now, before I forget it, um, some of the people here also live within inside the city limits of Milton. And we give opportunity a lot of times for those people who are running for city council to come up here and also um, uh, make their statements. Uh, so if there's anybody here that's running for, uh, I believe there's two city council seats that are up for election this time. Uh, anybody running for any one of those city council seats, just meet me behind the podium back here. And um, I'll be glad to get your speaking arrangement um, squared away. Now if you would, please give your attention to Mr. Doug Broxson. Thank you. It's been my great honor to serve you the last two years, and I think you know I've done that. I've chased the issues that are important to you. This next week, 
Greg Evers and I are going to New Orleans to meet the Czar of the federal program that will finish out taking care of our business people and families that were mistreated during the oil spill. Jeff Miller and I were in Mobile to welcome Airbus and to remind them that the best workers in the area is not in Mobile or Alabama, it's in Northwest Florida. And they're going to get that message over and over and over again from us. There's a lot of work to be done. I wish I could have had my friend Dennis Baxley, who came to my house last night, to come from Ocala to assure me that he stood with me because he knows I'm an honest broker of the truth, who is the National NRA Member of the Year, who is the father of the Castle Doctrine, and who is the father of Stand Alone, Stand Your Ground. He would tell you this. Doug Broxton is fair-minded, he'll do what's right, and he'll stand for you and everything that's important to this district. I'm honored to be your representative, and I look forward to serving you for the next two years. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Broxton. Now, if you would, please give your attention to Jair Williamson. Jair. Well, good evening. My name is Jair Williamson. I'm a candidate for State Representative District 3. It's great to be in beautiful Baghdad tonight. I almost feel like I'm at home. I actually grew up going to church at Baghdad Assembly of God. And some of the thoughts when I was coming through that I remember about Baghdad Assembly is when church got over, all the children would run outside to, uh, to the side of the street there, and my great-grandfather, John Rogers, Rogers, would come out and get into his vehicle. I think it might have been a Catalina. And he would take off. And if anybody knew him, he had parked and he had about 85 miles per hour. So it was the closest thing any of us children had seen to a plane taking off right in front of our face. And the rocks would shoot down the road. But it's great to be here tonight. Uh, for you, those of you that don't know anything about me, I'm an electrical contractor and part owner of Williamson Electrical Company in Milton. Williamson Electric is a family business. It was started in 1976. I'm very blessed that when I graduated from the University of West Florida in 2002, that I had a family business to go into. I started out as an electri electrical helper. I moved my way up to running my own electrical crew and then moved into the office where I'm vice president and CEO today. Uh, throughout that work career, I met my beautiful wife, Lindsay. She actually showed up on my doorsteps and uh, we were engaged in three months and then married two months later. So the moral of that story is I like to get to work fast. And that should be very beneficial for you when I'm your next state representative. You know, as you look around our country and you look at the things that have made our country great, our right to bear arms is very, and our right to keep and bear arms is very precious to our country. And I am the only candidate in this race with an A rating for the NRA. I'm very proud of that. And whenever I say that I will stand my ground for your Second Amendment rights, it's not just campaign speak, I mean it. And I also will stand up for your private property rights. That's what we need in this country. It's what's made this country great, and it's what's going to continue to make this country great. And we need good, young, conservative leaders to get back to those values that this country was founded on. It would be an honor and a privilege to be your next state representative. May God bless you and yours, and may God continue to bless this great state. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Williamson. Thank you, the candidates that were running for uh, state representative. Um,